The first part of information modeling is defining types. The second part of information modeling is defining the relationships between items of those types. So first let me kind of give you this idea. I've talked a little bit about it before. Let me talk about it again. The idea of types versus items. So Facebook really wants to standardize how they deal with people, right? That's why they create a person type, a person type that has specific attributes. And that person type with specific attributes, that's no individual. That's not me or you or someone else. When we fill that in, however, with the name, Bob, and the address, and the sex, and the, all the rest of the stuff that, that Facebook wants, now all of a sudden we have an item of type person. Now why do we need item, why do we need this concept of an item? Because the type alone is not enough. And in fact, we don't really store the type, we store items. We store Bob and Joe and Jane and Jin Yuan and whoever else. Those are the things that we store. So an item of information is one complete filled out type. The type is like a template. The type is like a cookie cutter. The type is like a set of rules. Let me go into each one of those things because that'll help you understand. The type is like a template. It's you fill in the blanks, but without the blanks filled in, there's really nothing there. The type is like a cookie cutter, as, as if you're taking dough and cutting individual cookies. The cookie cutter itself is the, the form, but the cookies that it cuts out are particular items that take on that form. The type is the rules. The type says anything that has an ID, a name, an address, a city, or sorry, a location, and a sex, that we're going to call a person. If it doesn't have those things, then it's not a person. Those are the rules. And then when you apply those rules, when you put those rules into action, you have items. So you're, not, you, you're actually used to thinking of items, not of types. So when you think of a person on Facebook, what you're really thinking of is an item of information. Now you need to abstract that and say, oh, I see. All people on Facebook, they all behave the same. Wow, a big iceberg just crashed into the water. That's very cool. When you, think of, when you think of people on Facebook, you think of items. Now you have to abstract and you have to say that all those people behave the same, so therefore there's a type of information on Facebook called a person. We'll go later into some, or in other places in the, in the course, we'll go into um, how do you actually put those things in databases. But for now, I want you to understand the concept that we have items of information that are stored in databases and they behave according to the type that they're, they're a member of.